Bom dia. I am Alan, and I'm here with my wife Leslie, our son Wolf, and our dog Greer. We are from the United States and now live in Portugal on the beautiful island of Madeira. We would like to thank all of our subscribers for being here, and for anyone new, we would hope to earn your subscription today. In today's video, we are off to Ribera Brava, our next new favorite place. Ribera Brava is on the southern coast west of Funchal, with a population of around 13,000 people. It's a nice town to walk, with lots of local shops and businesses, and a large beach area. Its name, which translates to the Angry River, flows through the center of town, emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. The river can be very strong during the rainy season, hence its name. Heading north towards Sierra de Agua, the river valley is flanked on both sides by steep slopes and the drive is very scenic. A must place to visit and spend some time. We talk to people every day who are thinking about and planning to get out of the USA. Today we are discussing our new home, Portugal, and the steps to take before you leave America. We think you will find value in this video regardless of where you are from. Let's talk about it. We hope you will find our journey helpful as you work to navigate your own. It'll be fun. Vicer Di Fortino. Are you ready to change the quality of your life? We were. We are on the island of Madeira and would like you to understand that coming to Portugal has been a fabulous decision for us. Why? Because Portugal offers a dream lifestyle on a budget. It may not be considered cheap when compared to other locations around the world, but it is cost effective and offers a broad range of experiences to be found. There are many areas in Portugal that are amazing and worth reviewing when you are preparing. We will discuss some of them along with the areas on Madeira you do not want to miss. Lastly, we want to cover a few things that we recommend you prepare before you come. Portugal is a country of just over 10 million people with a land mass about the size of Indiana in the U.S. This country has many amazing cities to offer retirees. Travel to and from the country through three international airports. They are found in Lisbon, Porto, and Madeira. The largest city is Lisbon with a population of almost 3 million people. While this is not going to be the cheapest city, it's filled with old world charm, museums, restaurants, great transportation system, and exercise built into every row you walk. If you are looking for an area to settle where you do not need a car, then you will find this city easy to get around. The second largest city is Porto, with a population of around 1.3 million people. Porto is in the north of the country in the hills overlooking the Douro River. The area has year-round temperatures that range from 40 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It boasts great universities, cultural sites, and is the home of port wine. While you are scouting, take a look along the Silver Coast. This area offers many lovely smaller towns such as Peneche, Torres Vedras, and Obidos, and is home to some of the largest waves in the world at Nazaré. The area runs along the coast just above Lisbon to just below Porto. You will find it more cost-effective 
while offering a smaller town environment, complete with golf courses and beaches for your new adventure. If your dream retirement includes walking down some of the best sandy beaches in the world, golfing, great food and nightlife, then put the Algarve on your must-see list. There is another place that we think is a must visit on your scouting trip to Portugal. That would be the islands of Madeira. When planning your trip, we think you should not just stay in Funchal, but plan to visit and stay in the towns across the island. And take the ferry to the island of Porto Santo, where you will find seven miles of sand beaches. Our favorite Madeiran towns are Pau de Mar, Ponta Delgada, Porto Moniz, Ribeira Brava, Ponta do Sol. Actually, I'm going to stop just right here. Every time we go to another place, we fall in love and say, this is perfect. We could live here. We have been working on our favorites list. We may never get it done. Or maybe we could just create a video series titled, This Month's Favorites. When preparing to retire, we all spend lots of time focusing on where we will be moving to for retirement. Are we staying in the US? Moving to Mexico? South America? Asia? And then, if you are like us, we discover Portugal, a European country. We want to bring up a few things for you to think about before you come. Get your NIF number. This is your Portuguese tax number, and anyone can get one. You do not need to live in Portugal to have one. You will need it to open a bank account or to get a lease. You will even be asked for it at the grocery store. We have an affiliate with Border, a company that can help you get your NIF and set up a Portuguese bank account. You will need both of these to apply for your visa. We suggest that you plan on renting before you buy. This will give you time to explore the property market and your chosen area to find the best location for your needs. Renting also gives you time to learn about the buying process, which is different than in the US. You may even find that you want to go to another area in Portugal altogether. Plan on bringing only the things that are a must. You will not need to bring everything you own. It is not cost effective. Don't worry, Portugal has plenty of stores for you to shop in. Understand how moving to Portugal will affect your taxes. If you are from the US, you will still need to file taxes. Speak to both an expat tax accountant for the US and a Portuguese tax accountant for Portugal. Review your health insurance options. Contact an insurance broker so they can help you understand what kind of insurance is available for your age and your price range. Insurance options and prices can be very different as you age. It's a good idea to understand the prices so they can be planned into your budget before you get here. No surprises this way. Please give us your thoughts in the comments below. We are available to schedule one-on-one -on -one time with people. If interested, follow the link in our description. Many of the websites or contacts we talk about can be found in the description of our videos. We hope you continue to come along with us on our new adventure. 
We are grateful for the opportunity that we have been given. Life is short. We should have done this sooner. Please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to help us grow. The next stage in your life is a journey. Enjoy it.